Thomas Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to talk about a very interesting concept and that is regarding CSI net questions for biochemistry. So, in this uh, video, we are going to discuss about some of the CSI net biochemistry questions and the questions that are not that easy to answer and when, what happens when you try to answer some of the part C question from CSI net exam, what happens is that your preparation is good, you know that you have prepared well and when I ask a direct question to the student, students can answer. But when they form the part C questions, student fail to answer the question many occasions. Although they know the answer, but they cannot find the answer in the question segment. The way the questions are designed is to confuse you and also take a lot of your time while analyzing the question. So how exactly you can analyze a tough question, a complicated question, break it down into a simple version and then you can answer that fast and much more effective way. This is what we are going to see in this series of videos. Now this is the first video on biochemistry questions. So stay tuned and watch it completely. So now we will move to uh, the slideshow and I am going to take a color from here. And let us uh, try to answer some of these questions. Let us let, let me take a red color and let us begin. Uh, so this is the very first question that we are going to discuss as an example for uh, part uh, C or part C type biochemistry question. Pyruvate dehydrogenase is, is subject to feedback inhibition by its products in glycolysis. Some of the chemical compounds which might, might be involved in the process are listed below. So this is about the feedback inhibition process of an enzyme. Okay? So the moment you are reading this question, you know this is about pyruvate dehydrogenase enzyme and this is about the feedback inhibition of pyruvate dehydrogenase enzyme. So these are the two key ter terms that you need to know in order to answer the question. And the moment you are reading this question, if you don't know these terms, then immediately leave the question. Don't waste your time. But if you know what is feedback inhibition, feedback inhibition is a process of enzyme inhibition where the products of the enzymatic reaction inhibits the enzyme so to do the function. So as a result in pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, so what we are going to look uh, for here, the products, the products of pyruvate dehydrogenase uh, complex reaction. So the, the products will inhibit uh, this whole process. So what are the products of pyruvate dehydrogenase? That's what you need to figure out and we know that this is kind of the example of the pyruvate dehydrogenase reaction, pyruvate is converted into acetyl-CoA and the dehydrogenase complex is present there, okay, where coenzyme A, NAD+, they are involved, NADH is produced as a, as a result. And so acetyldehyde, acetyl-CoA, these are the products, hardcore product of this reaction. So they are going to inhibit this pyruvate dehydrogenase there, the whole complex there. So what we can say from the options, acetyl-CoA and acetyldehyde both can inhibit, but rest of them will not inhibit. So C and D should be the answer. So if you look at the options, the option C comes with C and D. So the answer should be option C. This is the easy way to answer this question. So now the simplest way to, so see this question is big one and the question is framed in a way which of the following is correct type of question. So there are multiple types of CSI net question. If you want to know the different types of part C questions in CSI net life science examinations, we have a separate video on that. You can watch that. So this is the most asked type of questions, which among the following is correct or which among the following is not correct type of question. And in this type of question, they always give you some information at the beginning. Once you go through the information, get the answer and find out the correct combination, whether it's correct or not correct. So in this case, if we are finding the correct answers like that. So in this case, they can ask you a simple question that whether acetyl-CoA is the product of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex or not or pyruvate dehydrogenase reaction or not or whether acetyl-DHYDE is a future product or not. That's a simple question. But now the question is made complicated by giving you some more information so that you read this uh, question, take, invest some time and then move on. Now this is the second question, predominant interaction between phospholipids that stabilize the biological membranes include. Now this is another category of part C question where this is not any kind of combination based question but it is a direct, a question that requires larger sentences in the options. Remember in the large, last question the, the options are simple but here there will be individual options will be bigger. You need to read the individual big options. Predominant interactions between phospholipid that stabilizes the biological membrane. So basically we are talking about the phospholipids that they make the biological membrane, the cell membrane of, of our cells, right? So those, the interaction, what kind of interactions they, they share? We know one thing for sure is that this membrane, they contains hydrophilic region here and hydrophobic, phobic region in the center. So mostly the interaction is hydrophobic 
that keeps the membrane together so hydrophobic interaction is the key interaction but apart from hydrophobic interactions we know this phospholipids and there are lipids remember this is phosphate head and there are also lipid tails the lipids they have hydro lipid means hydrocarbon this hydrocarbon interaction is mostly made up with covalent interactions right so the hydrocarbon structure that is at its core of for a lipid structure is covalently built and the rest of the membrane structure that we are looking where the hydrophobic interactions are the key players that builds the hydrophobic core structures and also there are other protein interaction to the surface of this phospholipid which can be covalent interactions which can be other kinds of interactions but that's not required here what they asked is that stabilize the biological membrane so there are only two interactions that are involved that stabilizes the biological membrane one the major one is hydrophobic interactions and second one is this covalent interactions so among this which option gives us both covalent as well as hydrophobic uh, that is option d covalent and hydrophobic interactions so option d should be the correct answer so now look at this question this question does not require any trick okay it's a direct question you need to know the answer you need to know whether covalent interactions are present whether hydrophobic interactions are present in maintaining the phospholipid bilayer in maintaining the membrane bilayer for a cell if you don't know that you cannot answer this question no trick will be applicable in this question now let's move to the third kind of question which is not true about tca cycle so again another true or not true type but this is not a combination based question again this is same category as this one where the options are lengthier and you need to read the options straight ahead question but options are lengthier which is not true about tca cycle so basically this question is about tca cycle so when you read this question you know you need to know the properties of tca cycle to answer that because any kind of property can be asked if you don't know what is tca cycle and the basics of tca cycle and the properties of tca cycle you need to leave this question it take place it takes place in the mitochondrial matrix of course it's true so which of the following is not true so basically the best way to answer not true question is to replace not to as false always do this this is a trick that will help you to solve the question much faster which is false about tca cycle read it like that which among the statements false about tca cycle it takes place in the mitochondrial matrix false or true no it's true it's not false it is the single largest source of direct atp yes that's also true it's not false it is linked to glycolysis via pyruvate is it how exactly tca cycle linked with uh, glycolysis the intermediate here will be uh what pyruvate no acetyl coa acetyl coa that's the interim because pyruvate needs to be converted to acetyl coa by pyruvate dehydrogenase complex and acetyl coa takes uh, the journey inside okay so obviously uh, the glycolysis and tca cycle are not linked via pyruvate so this is a false statement there is formation of nadph and fadh2 it should be fadh2 fadh yes this is also true so the false statement among the four is that the tca cycle and glycolysis are linked via pyruvate this is not true this is not that uh, appropriate sentence although pyruvate is an integral uh, is playing an integral role but pyruvate needs to be converted into acetyl coa and acetyl coa is involved in the tca cycle so c should be the answer in this case so these are the three kinds of question that we discussed from biochemistry part c questions sometimes also they ask this in part b they can also ask in part b but part b questions are more direct but this kind of questions are asked what you need to do is to read the question and find out exactly which topic the question is asked if you know the topic you will go with the question otherwise leave this and if you know then you can answer it really really fast by this way okay so i believe it helps you if you like this video stay tuned because all the different chapters all the different unit videos will be coming soon and also like this video hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel thank you bye